got Clive Madandi today who will joining us soon on our show Feedback Pro. If you're looking for some wicket keeping drills today, you're at the right place. I'm sure he's got some tips to give to everyone. And uh, just a lot more to talk about his uh, short career so far. Okay, Clive is here. Let me just add him on now. Yes, yes, yes. How's it, man? <laughs> Yo, Clive, how's it, boss? Uh, I'm alright. Uh, are you keeping well? Yeah, I'm alright, G. I'm alright, eh? So, how are you staying in shape uh, in this uh, lockdown? So, hey, um, I've been like running every morning, basically every morning. And yeah. then I go to the, this, this other tennis court, you know that, I think you know Ishtumiza. Yeah, so, yeah, I, yeah. Go, I go there just to keep the drills, throw the ball around, just keeping my hands, you know, always used to the ball, touching the ball, throwing the ball around. And always just yeah running. That's how I've been keeping myself busy and stuff. I'm I'm sure you're missing the spotlight of just being. Dude, like I just I just missed you know playing you know like it's been a while, dude. I missed holding the bed just. Yeah. So you tell me, me. So tell me what been you busy during this pandemic? Like what else you know? What else? <laughs> uh I just sitting sitting around. You know what I'm saying? Playing games, watching movies and stuff. A lot of FIFA. Yeah, FIFA, bro. That's that's the way. Eh? Yeah, I see a lot of guys are playing a lot of FIFA now. Yeah, so I'm yeah, playing FIFA, just doing this and this with the boys. Yeah, that's for sure. So you're a wicket keeper. So just tell me, do you feel like as a wicket keeper, there is some extra effort or some extra work that you need to put in when you when you practice? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, like how people say it, like wicket keeper control controls the game, controls the players. There's yeah. obviously the there's obviously the captain, okay, and then the wicket keeper knows the positions and stuff. So for me, I think the extra work comes from like the way you need to concentrate ball by ball for every single ball, because as a wicket keeper, you expect the ball to come to you every time. So that's a lot of work. That's a lot of concentration needed there. Yeah. And then squatting around is just in miles, just an extra work, but it's nothing big compared to concentration and keeping the fielders at the right position and stuff. So I think it does, I mean, count as an extra effort, but it's not that big. Yeah. So we can keep, I really enjoy it, but it's just, yeah, cool. What inspired you to go behind the stumps? What inspired me to go behind the stumps? Oh, well, uh, you see, I used to watch a lot of cricket, you know, so I used to love Mark Boucher. So I saw that guy, the way he motivated people, you know, the way he just did his things, it was so proper. And I was like, no, I need to do the same thing. That's why I just chose, yeah. Okay, I was saying that we can keep us, they're said to be the message guys in all changing rooms. And how true is that? Uh, no, 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 no. Not really true with that. <laughs> not really true. <laughs> not true. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, because you I can't know, yeah, because you guys carry a lot of stuff uh, around. You've got keeping bed, getting, you know, a lot of extra stuff. Oh yeah, like the kid was like we have a lot of things in our bed. That's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. Obviously, I mean, keepers has got like spare things in the bag, eh? Even like bowlers, they do have like extra pairs of boots, but we can keep them. You need extra pads, extra gloves, extra whatever, inners and stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot. Okay, I think let's see for yourself and uh, you give us a throw and let's see what you keep inside your bag. Of course, we'll start, eh? Awesome. Okay, so this is my, my kookaburra bag. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm a, I'm a kookaburra fan, so that's right. that's the, basically the key I use most of the time. You know. So right. yeah. I'll start with my keeping stuff first. All right. Just this. Okay. So I'll go with my keeping gloves first. Right. Okay. Okay. These are kookaburras, as you can see. They're very nice. Yeah, yeah, I got them from the, you know, the factory in Devon, the Kookaburra factory in Devon. Yeah, in Devon. Yeah, yeah, I got this from from that place. They will, I got like 50% discount on every Kookaburra kit I have. So these okay. are very comfy. I love right. this glass. Eh? It's so nice. As fresh. you can see. Eh? They look fresh. Yeah, they, they're really nice. Eh? They're comfortable. And if I use these inners as well, you see, these right. are Kookaburra as well. 
Yeah, it's so nice. So for the gloves, I've got these kookaburras and stuff. All right. And then I move on to, to my keeping pad. Okay. So I use the kookaburras as well. Okay. Okay, these are nice. These are comfy, yeah? So... Yeah, from here. Yeah. Eh? I what? can see. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're proper, yeah. So I got this from kookaburra as well. 50% everything. So I've got this. This is a nice, nice brew. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know, like... I don't know if it's fair and think about stuff, but then, yeah, I'll move on to, to my bedding glass, alright? Okay. I've got this other uh, kookaburras as well. Alright. Okay, so these ones, I don't use them anymore because they're, they're torn inside. Okay. So, they're not like, you see? Alright, yeah, yeah. They're torn, so I don't use them anymore. So, I've decided to get another pair, but they're not kookaburras, though. So, I got oh. this, so I got these brew tones. Okay. All right. So these are a bit big and like comfortable as well. So these are the gloves I'm using. Okay. Yeah, and then to my thigh guard, I've got the the kookaburras as well. Okay, nice. Okay. Yeah, they're very nice. They, yeah, for right hand, there's not two lefties, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are these are nice as well, eh? You like I can't scoop anything from that bag. From no, nah, you cannot. Unfortunately, not even this very gloves and that. <laughs> yeah, so cookers as well. Awesome. And then uh, bedding pads. I don't use cooker bar bedding pads. I used to have them, but they were small, so I decided to get new pairs of bedding pads. So I've got this B and S. Okay. These are proper. These are nice. Okay. Yeah. So I'm using these ones. So these are nice, these are big as well. Like if anyone is bowling 140k, if you hit me on the pad, I'll be like, ouch, but not like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah yeah. That protection. Okay, so eh? You need that protection. Yeah, you need that protection, you know what I'm saying? Especially when facing people like Bosch, um, to Pavilion, they're, they're quick, eh? I'm having him on the show tomorrow, Eastern Bosch. Yeah, I'm coming on the show to see Ethan, eh? And oh, then yeah. Uh, for my helmet, so you know, like how most people use uh, Missouri and stuff and things. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that helmet. I've been, I've been using that. I think it's heavy for me. Okay, so I decided to get a new one. Okay, I got this Shrey right. helmet. Yeah, so this is nice. This is light as well. So this okay. is the helmet I've been using and stuff. And yeah, I think. I don't know how I feel about Missouri and stuff because you know the way it's heavy and stuff and things. As a wicket keeper, squatting, doing all this with that helmet, it was a mission to me. And then we move on to my weapon. I think that's what you've been waiting for, eh? Yes. <laughs> that's what you're waiting for, isn't it? Yes. You know, <laughs> you know eh? it's not right handed, bit, bit, bit. <laughs> It's not right handed, bit. <laughs> <laughs> so all <old> people, <laughs> yo, catch you. Okay, so you can see I've got an SG cover face. Okay. Yeah, I try to hide it as well. You're not allowed to use it. So yeah. yeah. So of course, uh, this beauty. Uh, yo, yeah. yeah. Cook up a fever Pro 2000. All right. All right. Yeah. So, so we got them. I, I got this bet me and Wesley. Okay, when okay. we went to the factory, cook up our factory, we got fifty percent whatever thing sponsorship. So yeah, I've been using this. I think it's it's light, eh? It's so nice this patch. I use it a lot, eh? So that's the only weapon I'm using though, because yeah, I don't have anything else to use besides this. All right, yeah. looking. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what else you need to know. Even if you want to know, but what's this? Uh, Cricket boots, whatever. You want to show? Can I show you? Yeah. See the boots. Okay. <laughs> huh? Yeah, we want to see the boots. Okay, so, okay, they're dirty. You know how we haven't been playing cricket. Uh, you know how we haven't been playing cricket, so uh, you see how dirty they are and stuff. But oh, I use uh, the NB one, New Balance. Okay. Yeah, these are uh, proper, eh? Light as well. So, oh, nice. Nice. This is the one I use. 
Okay, that's so just uh yeah, just uh seen a couple of things uh of your kids. Nah, uh, already on the commentary there's a lot of fire going on there. I think Joan and Callum they just own it, you know, about you. Looking at your bed side, uh, you talk of being light. What else do you look for when when you're choosing a bed? Okay, so basically for me, I mean personally when I choose a bed, I need light bed, like I told you. And then when I'm looking at beds, I need a curve, you know what I'm saying? Like the the curve. So okay, shout like out this one, you know. Bob, you wanna say shout out to South Africa Kingdom Academy. Um I work there and uh, yeah. So you're saying? So I was saying we can like I say it like the way I love um, light beds, okay? And then the other thing is the way it's curved, you know what I'm saying? Like this kookaburra is a bit curved, not like straight. Okay? Yeah. And the other thing, I look at the grains. Some people say more grains, but uh, it's better, but I don't know. Like this one's has got less grains, okay? Right. A few right. grains. So I prefer this. And the back as well, you see? You see uh-huh. the back? The back is a bit like outish, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like a, yeah. So that's how I look in a bed when it's light as well. I mean, I can play all shorts. Because I'm a brute player, I eat balls, eh? <laughs> I go for big shorts, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure I know you can say from uh, from the flyer that uh, we can say yeah. I, I I go for big shots, so the thing is uh, I enjoy like light beds, so I can eat the ball perfectly fine. Eh? Yeah, it yeah. also you, you don't have those guns, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I've been oh. trying, I've been trying, bro. Yeah. You see, you must see the day I came back, yeah, dude. I was. I was a bit strong, I was like, yo, everyone is just shocked, eh? But now, you know, in this country, we're going back to to normal, eh? No, oh, it's sad, right? It's sad. So, yeah. do you have like a sort of packing routine that you do when you're packing your stuff, or you just throw in everything? Okay, so, what I used to do at school, when I play most cricket every weekend, every weekend and stuff, so I used to pack my bag the night before, okay? Uh, so, even my whites, I used to put them the night before. So, tomorrow morning, just do my routine, clean my bed, um, go have a shower, yeah, brush your teeth and then leave. So that's what I used to do a lot and it helped me a lot. Every time I just tried to prepare, every time I tried, I tried to prepare my things in the morning, I couldn't yeah. do anything and I was like, no, this is not a good start and things. So, yeah, uh, so that was my routine. Okay, so looking at your keeping gloves, uh, since you're a wicked keeper, what sort of comfort do you look for when you... Okay, so, for me, okay, you know like how people use like thousand inners just not to feel the ball inside, okay? But when you use like a lot of inners, the gloves become stiff, okay? Even if okay. you want, to, okay? You won't be able to be using, you won't be able to use your hand, okay? But when I put like one inner, okay? All right. When I put one inner, and then put my glove, okay? I still feel comfortable, you can still see your hands, okay? So I don't like putting a lot of inners, otherwise my hands become stiff and the ball just hits and goes out because you're not closing it. So for me, I feel comfortable with one inner and then, yeah, I, I love a big glove as well. You see, like, the, these are pro players plus, okay? So I love them, they're big, so you can actually take the ball nicely, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. that's how. What are your essentials that you keep in your kit bag? Okay, uh, essentials. Let me check. Uh, I love my my sleeve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I put a sleeve in my sleeve in my bag. It's always. very essential to me. Eh? Always. Always. I don't use it always in games, but mostly I just keep it in my bag. I love it. So it's one of them. And uh, my inner is one of the one of the essential things in my bag as well. Uh-huh. Okay, my inners, I love them, huh? oh, yeah. And something else, no cricket kids, uh, uh, I don't know it really, but just, I don't put a lot of things in my cricket bag, just cricket. Okay. okay. All right, so I see that you've got quite some superstitions that going on. Is there, let's say when you're betting, some sort of superstitions other than the ones that you just said now? Ah, uh, nah. I don't believe in these superstitions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not a kid? 
You know, nah, people, you see, you see, you know, they, I, I share my kids, okay? Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of guys that are, they'll be like, no, I don't share my kids, or you can't hold my bed before I bet, before I go into bed. You know those people? Like, I don't believe in that. If you want to carry my bed, even if you're an opponent, you want to see my bed, I give it to you and stuff. I give you my kid to use. I don't believe in superstitions and stuff. So if, you, if you're meant to eat the run, you can eat the run. If you're not, then it's like, right? So yeah, yeah. That, that's true. Then are you, are you probably the messiest guy uh, in, in the changing room? The messy? Yeah. Are yeah, you, the... you see, <laughs> I, I, I was one of the messy guys in the changing room, to be honest. Because every time, sometimes when you like, things don't go your way, when you don't score the runs, Okay, I'll just flip my bag everywhere and you can find the other shoe on the other side, the bed on the other side and stuff. Which is, it was very bad, but after a couple of minutes you'll be like picking your stuff away, so yeah. I was, okay. I was one of the messy guys, because I've got lots, yeah. I mean, who's now the messiest guy you have ever shared a changing with? Your um, whole messiest guy. You know, uh, don't, don't. Which I think. Okay, there was this... I was James Twacross. This this my friend in school was James Twacross. I used to sit next to him. Yo, he was he was ridiculous online. He was yeah. messy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's watching this, but he knows that he was messy. Uh, and yeah, Zimbabwe gladiators. Uh in gladiators, who is the messiest guy? Okay, people are tidy, yeah, they're so clean. But um No no no, listen, listen. You know, a couple, one or two from that team. Yeah, one or two, but you see, I haven't had like a year playing for Gladiators. I joined it recently, you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure. I played like two games, so I haven't been checking really. But it's probably like, you know, phase. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably phase, I think, because these boats, these things and stuff, they're always like. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, if you've seen your kit, um, I'm pretty sure you're enjoying the kit. Are you enjoying the brand? Yeah, of course, Black Cooker, but I'm enjoying it so well. But I wish I could have like Crane Cruise because that's my favorite. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we can check them and then they can hear you say that and then. Anyways. Now, going to Korea, what has been the most special, the most important part of your career? So okay, far? so. You know, it's in Charles, I, and I, I wasn't a keeper, I was just bowling and stuff, I was bowling and batting, okay? So, we went to Nationals, okay, the tournament, I don't know, the school's national things, I don't know if you know it. Okay, no, yeah. So, yeah, you had to play like two finals in KZN and go to play Nationals in Pretoria. We won the two finals, I was one man of the match, one of the, one of the, the games, and I can show you, there's a lot of trophies here, okay? So, these are the trophies you get for that. Really? Yeah. And then <clears throat> this was like Man of the Match award and stuff. So Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then so I was bowling that time. And then I went to Nationals, I won the ball of the tournament. And um, I was really shocked because I'm a wicked keeper. I was like, what the <laughs> hell happened? Yeah. <laughs> I bowled and got the ball of the tournament. So it was special to me. It was a good feeling. From Paymo, he's saying, uh, Hi Clive, can you share some tips of becoming an aggressive batsman? Okay, so being an aggressive batsman, all right, doesn't require like a lot of extra work and stuff, okay? So, a lot of people with who are aggressive, they've got fundamentals, they have they good timing, okay? They watch the ball perfectly fine, closely, and they the getting positions, you know what I'm saying? You can just you can just swing without getting into position and stuff, okay? So they watch the ball closely, they've got timing and stuff. That's how I keep I don't have a lot of power, like you can see I don't have guns. But okay, yeah. just wait for the ball and timing and stuff. Okay, so how did I practice it? Okay, so when I was at Seki One, you know where Seki One is, right? So I used to take like lighters, alright? Young boys, put them on the boundaries. The other guy was chucking me under arms, all right? I was trying to clear the boundary as much as I can, all right? That's how I started doing that. I could run down the track, go straight, run down the track, go long off area, long on area. That's how I started eating the ball well, okay? So when I actually got into the game, I got used to it. It was easy. 
So every time yeah. I wanted to play a big shot, I could remember how I used to do it. I used to get into the position nicely. I used to, my timing, okay, wait for the right ball and then hit it, okay. That's how you become an aggressive player. And the other thing is, you don't want to put yourself under pressure, all right. So I'm yeah. the one of the best, you know, say, if you get like three dot balls, I put myself under pressure and sometimes I go out, okay. So mm -hmm. becoming an aggressive player, I started like, trying to take a boundary, the first ball or the last ball of the over, you know what I'm saying? To put the baller under pressure already, you know what I'm saying? So taking the baller, the first ball, okay, gives him like, he puts him pressure, so you'll be scared to ball the rest of the balls. So go for a boundary first ball or the last ball, his next over will be like, you'll be sad, you'll be like dead. I mean, you'll be scared, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. that's how you try to put the baller, okay, under pressure by being aggressive first ball and last ball of the over and then working on your like how to hit the ball and your swings and stuff so yeah. that's that's how I, I, I do it i don't do like much like other people like do like how they squat and stuff you want to make your board big so you can hit the ball probably it just requires your timing your perfection your position positioning and stuff so that's how i become an impressive that's also brings me i was about to ask you on your on your side you yeah. spoke keeping gloves that you only use one inner so how how did it feel like you know okay you see that game that game i was uh i won't lie to you right i was so scared to keep for jaren to okay because i didn't really know him he just came and he was like hey yo guys i'm not gonna board today i was happy i was like okay i'll just take one keeping glove one inner and stuff then he actually went on the field and i saw him taking his cap off he was like preparing to go i was like oh my god okay what am i gonna do so I stood on there in the 30 yard circle there, 30 yards, yeah. That's where I was yeah. I was standing when I was keeping to him. He was coming fast eh, and I was getting it, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he comes so hard, eh? Like that was yeah. the first time I kept him for him. And then eventually one ball just took off, eh? He just hit my glove and took off. And it, he had one bounce, eh? Four. It was that quick. So I was actually, my, my, my hands were actually red after the game. They were actually sore, eh? They were so bad. Yeah. It would be. So now using one inner, you know, it's something that you find comforting. I mean, keeping for someone bowling 145 plus, uh, would you reconsider that or you go for something? Yeah, like sometimes. So, yeah, I do, I do. I mean, that game I would have liked, if I had other inners, I would have taken other inners. <laughs> but mostly, <laughs> yeah. but mostly I prefer one inner because I actually get to use my hands. I don't want to use the glove, really, mostly. I want to use my hands. So. Yeah, because I can also field, so I, I mean, I back my hands a lot. Otherwise, uh, Clive, do you have any words of advice that you would like to give to a certain youngster like you who is looking to have the best of his career uh, at the end? Okay, yeah, I think, yeah, a couple of advice. So, you see, cricket, it's a different sport. Eh? You get one chance and then you get down. Okay. It's not like soccer, if you fake a pass or do this and this, you get it back again. Basketball, if you pass it to the wrong guy, you get it again. But cricket, if you got that, if you're out, you're out for the day. So it's a, it's yeah. a tough sport, okay? It is a tough sport and there are a lot of people there I know that have, that have quit cricket because it was tough, it was getting hard. There was no proper selection, there was no proper facilities and stuff. But that's not the, the issue, you know what I'm saying? It's about like keep fighting and stuff. Because there's a lot of drawbacks in cricket, there's a lot of obstacles, there's a lot of things that are going to come through that are going to stop you, but doesn't mean you have to quit. So to a lot of guys there who've got their passion in cricket, the guys who love cricket a lot, I just encourage them so hard to keep going, to keep working hard, to keep grafting, show resilience, you know. There's a lot of bad things that's going to happen to you, but there's a lot of good things as well. So as you yeah. can see, as you can see how Wesley, Newton, people like those guys, like how they started from the bottom and now they play in national teams and stuff, they in the squad. So those guys have faced a lot of things. They had times they wanted to quit. They had times they wanted to stop cricket. So is so am I as well. But then you just got to push through. You're just going to keep going because there's a, there's a better side at the end there. And you, eventually you're going to get it. So a lot of guys, they're just going to keep crafting, keep working. Don't, don't be tired. Don't make excuses, you know what I'm saying? Don't hang around with people who give you negative energy. Don't hang, hang around with people who doesn't have positive energy every time. So it's just people who encourage you, people who show, who motivate you every day. 
that's why I surround myself with people like that. So yeah, I really, I really think it's a, it's a it's an essential message to people. It's very important. It's vital to not only youngsters but to everyone that you gotta keep working hard. You gotta keep pushing because it's gonna it's gonna get better. Yeah. Okay. Just as you're about to wrap up, there's this question from Trishi Chani. Okay, um, that's my question. Okay, saying that, um, I Clive, what inspired you to play cricket? I mean, there are a lot of sports out there. <laughs> question. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this question basically says uh, what made you play cricket, basically, right? With this, yeah. uh, with this, a lot you can do actually. Okay. Yeah. So mostly you do things that you love. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, there's things that you do as well that you don't love. Like people, a lot of people don't like school, but they still do it. Okay. Me, I love cricket. That's why I do. So what inspired me is. Like I said, I used to watch cricket like in sports and stuff. I just used to watch cricket a lot. And I thought it would be interesting. If I spend my whole day doing this, this, I think I'll be sorted. I'll be doing the what I love. Okay. So when I was in grade three, that's when I started playing cricket. So there was a there was a teacher that came into our class and he said, Who wants to play cricket? So I just raised my hand. I was like, okay, I'll have a go. And then from then I didn't play because the the squad were really hard to match. So yeah. when I was like grade six, that's when I started making my name. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's yeah. when I started like crafting, working hard and stuff. Grade seven, do this and stuff. And then I was proper in like form one, grade eight. That's when I was proper. And then got a scholarship, Churchill, everything, St. Charles scholarship. And now played Zimbabwe under 19. That's what inspired me because there's a lot of good things I had. Just wrapping up. Um... Who do you want to nominate now to come on the show next time? Who do you want to nominate? <laughs> okay, okay. If you done Wesley yet? Uh, not yet, but uh, that one is already in the bag, so you can nominate. Okay. <laughs> I- I'm going to make you nominate one of the guys from our school. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there's Jason Logan. All right. Jason. He's my. Yeah. Yeah, he was Logan. the cricket of the year. He was gone. He was kids didn't play as well. He's so gone. SA schools. So yeah. I, I think I'd love him to have this show as well. I think it's helpful. I wanna see his ideas and stuff. So if if you can bring him on the show as well, it'll be very good. Yeah. Um, I've got one light as well. He's so passionate about cricket. Okay, and um, yeah. that guy is he loves cricket. He loves to have cricket conversation. He loves ideas as well. Okay, he plays a case in the college. Okay. Uh-huh. So his name is Casey Saunders. He's he's 17. All right. So he's very. Part- I think if you have like a video chat one day with him, just telling him to not give up, to just keep trying, because you're better than what you actually think you are. So I think, yeah. yeah so I'm gonna talk to him as well. Like you guys have a conversation together. I think you're motivating him even better. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just just send me a message of those names, and then uh, we can organize and see uh, That's how. About it. Otherwise, it. it was awesome having you on the show today. I really enjoyed the conversation. We got I did, to, yeah. Uh, we get to know you in a in a more personal level, which is good. Thanks, eh? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was it was proper. I really love this. Eh? Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. All right, like thanks, man. Thanks, bro.